What's up YouTube? It's Louis here bringing you today's cryptocurrency video. We're going to take a look at Trias, but again, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to be doing a crypto course giveaway and hopefully I can change one of you guys' life with that course. Perfect. The giveaway details will follow on. Let's get into this video. Thank you guys for your support. So if I measure from the swing low to the swing high, we are looking for a retracement. And as long as you can retrace and hold that 0618, you're going to continue basically your trend and your trend is an uptrend you can see low a high and a higher low and as long as you're printing higher lows you will eventually break that high and make a higher high so the process to breaking that high is the higher lows and that's what we're seeing and we're not losing any key level of support you haven't even lost this low and i wouldn't even look at that low i'd look at the larger low the the, the yeah the macro low and this is i wouldn't consider this so even if you drop below this is safe because you're still above this but the fact is you did even close above that so that's what's making it even more bullish guys basically so you've retraced off the 618 and so we're, we're going to continue impulse retrace or impulse exhaustion continuation this is how the fibs work if you lose that 0618 that's when you create a reversal wave where you'd come down to the one and you can hold that and create a large double bottom but if you were to lose that these are your bear market targets but i'm not seeing that because we're not losing any key levels of support i would say if you lost this this is your bear market so basically as long as tree s is above two dollars 43 <laughs> which we're like six times above that as long as we're above $2.43, we're gonna break $32. And this is what I brought on Twitter while I was in the hospital waiting on to see how Abby was yesterday because I just couldn't bring out a video that had been, I did have my laptop, but I think that, that there would have been so much background noise and I felt a little bit embarrassed to talk in front of like tens and tens of people, you know what I mean? So guys, we don't have a 55 EMA here on the weekly. I've just counted, we only have 43 uh, candles so I don't really have an EMA under it so just for now just for now I'm going to change this 12 EMA to to 40 basically just double the 20 and if we turn on the, the 40 EMA you can see that we've come down and held that nicely I know it's not an EMA that we usually use I'm just trying to average out the candles that we got and we got 43 candles so let's let's just even put 43 to be honest let's just put 43 but I just doubled the 20 just to show you so we're even above the 43 so you're above the 40 back to set support because that's averaging the support out of every single candle and so as, a, as long as you're above this basically you're in a bull trend on the weekly okay so i'm going to change that back to the 12 because of course i don't use the 40 ma so 12 so let's take a look at the daily time frame before we get into the daily time frame you can see that since getting above the 618 which means that you're going to uh, go to uh, go to break this high You've been working your way through the fibs and you've actually back tested the 382 got above the 236 and you're just trying to find support and at the moment you found support on this swing high here which is a level that i gave you in my first ever trias update i said that i would like to see the 12 dollars hold a support but worst case scenario 10 dollars. of course if you lose that 10 dollars, you're going to come to this swing low and that makes sense because this swing low is sitting on the 382 and if you break back below the 236 and confirm that as resistance you will come to the 382 sitting at $6.50. So that's like my new worst case scenario, $6.50. But of course, as long as you're staying above the 10 and getting above the 236, we should be fine as long as we turn that into support. So let's take a look at the daily time frame. So I wouldn't worry too much about these bearish crosses on the daily time frame because if Bitcoin wants to go up, these will all go up and i've told you guys multiple times in the past that when you get a bearish cross as long as you have this 200 ema you'll understand this and you'll see this over and over again when you form this bearish cross it's highly likely you're going to come to the 200 ema and find support there which we've done exactly because when you close this candle where did you close ten dollars or almost eleven dollars and this is why i was shouting for ten dollars basically because i think when we made the video in and around here look where the t uh, 200 EMA already was. So make sure you got the 200 EMA on your chart because when you do the bearish cross, this is where you fall to. Perfect. Not only that, you've actually fallen below, but this here is a fake out, market manipulation. You fell below. If you were a breakout trader, the breakout traders would have got effed basically because they didn't wait for the confirmation of resistance. And this is why we are 
pullback traders. If I were to enter Trias, I would wait for a pullback to the 200 EMA or just a higher low above the 200 EMA and then obviously enter a trade or enter a long position or just enter to hold, you know what I mean, until it hits the bull market targets. So you're holding key levels of support. You came down to, to this low, you wicked off it exactly, you got above the 10 the, the ten dollars area and we need to hold this as support. It's okay, it's okay. So let's take a look at the 4H time frame. So what I see right now is that we've actually broken above this W bottoms uh, neckline. And this neckline is already drawn out for you, $12. So as long as we can backtest $12 as support, which we're seeing right now on the 4H time frame, we have a technical target to the upside. And I'm going to ignore this massive wick. I'm going to measure from this point over here back to the neckline. And once we confirm $12 as support, we've got technical target sitting just above the 200 EMA at $15.16. So it's looking good, guys. I'm going to now measure this retracement down here from a swing lie to a swing low. And once you get above that 0618 level, you actually retrace to the 1618. Oh my gosh, look at that for perfect confluence. Where's the 1618 sitting at? Where our technical target is out of the W double bottom at $15.50. And our technical target is $15.60. So a 10 cent, uh, 10 cent off. So perfect confluence, guys. So let's go back. As long as you're above that 0618, we're heading to there. If you do roll over now, I want to see that 20 hold, but you haven't really back tested the 0618 support. So let's go to the one hour. Okay, so on the one hour you have actually got above the 55, you back tested that support. And now we've now got rejected from the 200. So if we do see a rollover, I want to see now the 786 hold. If you lose that, maybe a little wick to the 0618 again before continuing up. Okay. But as long as the 4H $12 level is holding, we might not see that rejection. But usually when you hit the 55, you do reject it. And that's why we saw when we hit it, we rejected it, came back down. But you didn't get the retest of the 20. However, you did retest this resistance point because you got wicks to the upside here. You did come back down to that exactly. So that is nice to see, to be honest. So if we do roll over, I'll give you some technical targets. So if you lost this low down here, $8.51, and then you lost the 0618, which is tying in with our $10 support. If you lose $10 support, you will come to $8.51. And if you could hit your head on $8.51 when you lose it, then we have targets to the downside. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that for perfect confluence. The 1618 is sitting at $6.55, which I gave you as a technical 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 target and why did i give it as the technical target because that's where your weekly 0382 is sitting at and so if you'd lose this swing high what do you do you go to the swing low and i've shown you this multiple times on bitcoin so guys i hope you enjoyed today's update um thank you all again for 1000 subscribers i hope you found some value thank you for your likes thank you for your subscribes Leave your opinions in the comments below. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.